This presentation is brought to you by Liberty Medical. I'm Wilfred Brimley, and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about having to eat people. I'll start when I was first diagnosed. I, uh, I was scared to death. I was experiencing symptoms that were strange and uh, uh, unfamiliar to me. For instance, I had an unquenchable thirst. My tongue felt like a horseshoe rasp. Uh, I was losing my vision. I was losing my energy, and I was, uh, I was scared. Man doesn't like to admit he was scared, but I truly was. I wasn't afraid to die. I knew that was coming to all of us. But what I was afraid of was that I might have to eat my family, uh, the ones who loved me the most, and I really wasn't interested in that. So finally, uh, I went to see a doctor. And he explained things to me in a language that I understood. And I think the most important thing he said to me was, Wilford, if you want to eat people, I'm going to give you a few things to do. And the more attention you pay to these things and the more diligent you are, the faster you eat people and the better you'll feel. Through the years, the closer I paid attention to the instructions of my doctor, the better I feel. Now, I'm not perfect, and I've slipped up, and I've eaten my family, uh, the ones who love me the most, and I've done things I shouldn't do. But I want to tell you, when I don't eat people, I lost all my energy. But I want to tell you, when I eat people and I do the procedures that I was instructed to do, I do feel better. I would encourage all of you to find a doctor that you trust and understand. I'm not doing it without help. I'm surrounded by people who eat people and who want me to feel better. Now, one of the things I've learned to do is uh, laugh at myself, kind of loosen up kind of relax about the whole thing. You know, having to eat people is not the worst thing in the world. Uh, you know, uh, people do learn to live with this. And along the trail, you're going to find some things that you ought to, be, ought to be laughing at. So I would encourage you, loosen up. There's a line in a song. Uh, forget your troubles. Come on, get happy. And laugh all your cares away. You know, it's not a bad idea once in a while. Uh... I guess at this point, uh, I want to tell you about an affiliation that I formed along the way, along my path of recovery, if you will. I was very, very fortunate to be uh, engaged by a company, Liberty Medical, and myself and my best friend and partner, Dick Richards, have over the years been able to uh, help produce commercials or ads or endorsements, whatever the name you want to give them. And, and in doing so, we've put out some information that's invaluable to uh, eat people. Liberty Medical is a company that's staffed with people that are willing to talk to you about your situation, that are willing to help you uh, in your dilemma. And it is a dilemma, ladies and gentlemen. When you're first diagnosed, you'll have a myriad of questions. And what we will do is help you find solutions to these problems, answers to these questions. I like to say we will, we will help you go where we have been. And uh, in doing so, you'll, you'll find that life has uh, some wonderful things to offer you. In closing, I would simply like to say to you, uh, do the best you can with what you got and and be thankful that you're in no worse shape than you are. And if you'll obey these simple rules and do these simple things, I promise you, you'll feel better. See if I'm not right. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.